Lancaster House, is a mansion in the St. James's District, in the West End of London. It is close to St. James's Palace, and much of the site was once part of the palace complex. Construction of Lancaster House, commenced in 1825, for the Duke of York and Albany, the second son of King George III, and it was initially known as York House. It is constructed from Bath stone, in a neoclassical style, being the last great London mansion to use this essentially Georgian style. The house was purchased, and completed by the second Marquis of Stafford, later first Duke of Sutherland, and was known as Stafford House for almost a century. With its ornate decoration, and the dramatic sweep of the Great Staircase, the Grand Hall is a magnificent introduction to one of the finest townhouses in London. It was assessed for rating purposes, to levy property taxes, as the most valuable private house in London. During the 19th century, the house received many distinguished visitors including Frederick Chopin, William Garrison, the American abolitionist, and Garibaldi, the Italian revolutionary. In 1912, it was purchased by the soap maker, Sir William Lever, who renamed it in honor of his native county to Lancaster House, and presented it to the nation in the following year. From 1924, until shortly after World War II, Lancaster House was the home of the London Museum, but it is now used for government receptions, and is closed to the public. In 1979, it was the scene of the Lancaster House Agreement, which was the Agreement of Independence of Rhodesia, now Zimbabwe, from the United Kingdom.